Okay, hi guys, my name is Jenny Contreras, and um, my presentation was on fair trade and cooperatives. Introducing fair trade. Uh, fair trade is an alternative approach to the conventional trade, and it is based on a partnership between producers and consumers. Um, fair trade is international trade that provides greater equity to um, workers and small businesses in developing countries. All right, so fair trade started in the 1940s. The U.S. started by um, purchasing needlework from Puerto Rico, basically reaching out to the poverty-stricken com stricken communities to help sell their goods on the market. Um, the first formal fair trade shop, which, was, which sold these and other items, opened in 1958 in the USA. Okay, so the global impact. The map of fair trade globally um, there are farmers and workers in over 70 countries and five regions, Africa, Asia, Latin America, the Caribbean, and that's just to name a few. Um, this here is a quote that I found kind of interesting that was on the website for um, the whole world trade, uh, world fair trade. Not all trade is fair. Farmers and workers at the beginning of the chain don't always get a fair share of benefits of trade. Fair trade enables consumers to put this right. I found this kind of interesting because there are standards between pro um, producers and workers. Really only a small percentage of the income actually reaches the individuals who are making the products. The rest goes to the wholesalers, the importers, the distributors, and um, fair trade is a business that provides and produces and increases the income and life and management skills of you know the workers. But they have a standard as well. Um, they are paid fairly, but the protection of the workers' rights are not um, as high priority. It's like low pay for low for long hours, and it stands for uh, non-discrimination and creates opportunities for economically disadvantaged producers. So it was kind of just like a, so everybody has an opinion of it, what's really good, what's really not. But um, that's basically what I found for that. Um, this is a video over, you know, the goals and um, what's really allowed. It's the goal to allow and improve producers' um, livelihood and the community through fair trade. Uh, it's to bring awareness to be a, um, it's advocating for change. Okay, um, to bring awareness is to be a part of fair trade, to commit to a non-discrimination, pay at fair prices, um, good working conditions in respect to the environment, and again, advocating for change and stuff. Um, there's like 4,500 um, types of fair trade, and sometimes, you know, we hear about sweatshops and this, this, and that, but that's not a part of fair trade. To be a part of fair trade, you have to um, have, like, transparency, like, accountability, you know, fair trading practices. It's a commitment to, you know, helping the environment versus, you know, harming and putting children to work and forced labor and stuff like that. Um, the types of fair trade, um, like I said before, there are 4,000... 500 fair trade um, products out there. Every purchase matters, and behind all the labels, it has no GMOs, no hazardous chemicals, and no child labor. Um, it's aiming to increase living standards in poor countries. Um, basically, consumers or producers need the jobs that you know Americans find um, objectifying and. Um, in other countries, they see them as the best available option, and if that disappears, they won't have anything. So basically, fair trade is there to like you know help the community versus to harm it. But at the same time, like as I've read and how um, the book kind of says that, you know, the producers aren't really seeing that. They're seeing the the wholesalers, the the investors. They're the one that's really seeing that. So they're not really getting a profit from it. And if they do get a profit, it's a really small percentage. So that is something to take into account as well. Um, workers, you know, they do work long hours and 
they might get low pay, but I'm not entirely sure about that because I'm not a worker. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for it. So, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask.